Don't forget to like and subscribe to Jolie Knotts Crochet. Share with your friends. Hit that little notification bell so you can get notified when new patterns release. All our videos are available in left and right handed tutorials. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knotts Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we are going to be making a Monstera leaf plant hanger. Now this hanger will fit uh, about a six inch pot approximately. Um, a little bit smaller is fine also, or you could even use a thin longer one and this netting will just come up as in the photos that you've seen. Now I chose to make this one in a green. For this plant hanger that you're looking at here, I used ice yarns in the cotton macrame. Um, this is a four weight cotton macrame, so it's a lot thicker and sturdier than a regular cotton because it's a macrame cotton. Um, these come in 300 meters, 250 grams, and of course it's 100% cotton. And I used approximately 70 grams for this project or about 100 yards. Now, the what I'm gonna show you today is going to be worked in double-stranded four weight cotton. So if you don't have macrame cotton, you can double strand a four weight cotton or acrylic if your acrylic is really strong. Um, this one here is a 55% acrylic and a 45% cotton. Okay, and this is just the uh, yarn bee little, little dollop in mint yellow. I picked these ones up on clearance. Uh, at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you guys know about their big huge clearance sale every summer. So the cost of this is pretty good. Now we're also going to be using a five millimeter hook for this project and you will need a tapestry needle to weave in your ends and whatever kind of plant hanger you would like to hang. We are just going to be tying the ends of our the end of our chain together for our hanging straps so the straps are really simple and they're just change chains so how we're going to do this is we're going to make one full entire leaf and then we are going to get started on the second one work it all the way up to the last round and then the last round is what we're going to be using to connect it together and then we'll continue on and work out the bottom of this project all right so go ahead and grab your materials and we will get started Okay, so in order to get started on this project, you are gonna take your double-stranded cotton and we're just gonna make a slip knot. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is chain 12. Once you chain your 12, you are going to slip stitch to the first chain to close your ring. And where we're starting with this is the top of the leaf. This is where our starting point is and then we're working our way down. So we're gonna chain two, which does not count as a stitch. And now we're gonna put five double crochets into our ring. I'm just gonna work over my tail, so that way I don't have to weave it in later. Three, four, and five. Now we're gonna put two treble crochets. So wrapping your yarn twice. One, two. And now we're gonna make a pico into that last treble crochet that we just created. So chain three. And then we're slip stitching to the top two loops of the treble crochet that we just created. And now we're gonna place one more treble crochet. Okay. 
Now we're gonna place 14 double crochets. Right, so now you have 14 double crochets and we're gonna slip stitch to our first double crochet to join. Now for row two, this is going to be the wrong side of our work. So we're gonna chain 10. So after you chain 10, you are going to turn your work. Now we're going to skip three stitches. So not counting the one that was slip stitched in two, we're going to skip three. One, two, three. And then we're going to place three single crochets. One, two, three. Now you'll chain 10 again. Skip three stitches. One, two, three, and we'll slip stitch into the fourth stitch. All right, now we'll turn our work and we're gonna get started on row three. So row three, we're gonna chain two, which does not count as a stitch. And now we're gonna place 14 double crochets into this chain that we made. to the single crochets, we're going to place a single crochet. So three single crochets, one on top of each single crochet. And then going straight into the next ring, we're going to place 14 double crochets right into that chain. One, two, So this is what your work should look like so far. Getting started on round, I'm sorry, row four. We're gonna turn our work and we're gonna slip stitch six times. So into the first stitch, that's one, two, three, four, five, Six. Now we're going to chain 10. Skip all the rest of your double crochets and we're going to do three single crochets, one on top of each single crochet. And now we're going to chain 10 again. And now we're going to skip eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And into your ninth double crochet, you're going to slip stitch. Now row five is gonna be a repeat of row three, which is to chain two, and we're gonna place 14 double crochets into our chain space. One, And 14. Now we're going to place a double, a single crochet on top of each single crochet. 
one, two, three, and again, 14 double crochets into your chain space. That's to complete row five. Now for row six, we're gonna turn our work and we're gonna slip stitch seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we'll chain 10 again. After we chain 10, you'll skip all of your remaining double crochets and we'll place three single crochets, one into each of those middle single crochets. Chain 10. Skip seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Into the eighth double crochet, slip stitch. Getting started on row seven is gonna be a repeat again of row three. So we'll chain two. Turn your work. And we're gonna do 14 double crochets over our chain. After you've done your 14 double crochets, we'll put three single crochets, one on top of each single crochet. One, two, three, and again 14 double crochets. This is what your work should look like so far. Okay. Now row eight is worked in the round. So we are turning, of course, but once we turn, we're gonna go all the way around our work. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna place two single crochets into our first stitch. One, two. Now we're gonna place 13 single crochets. One. Twelve. Thirteen. Your thirteenth, single crochet should fall into your last double crochet. Now we're gonna chain two and we're gonna treble crochet three together on top of our single crochets. So wrapping our yarn twice, not finishing out our last pull through, wrapping our yarn twice again, also not finishing our last pull through, and then wrapping twice again, not finishing our last pull through and you should have four loops on your hook and then you'll yarn over and pull through all. Chain two and now we'll single crochet into each double crochet all the way to the end and then place two single crochets into the last double crochet. So you will have 13 single crochets and then two single crochets into your last double crochet. And there we 
here's our last double crochet and we're placing two single crochets into there. Oops. Now you're going to chain six. And we're going to skip all of these double crochets and single crochet into the last double crochet of we're going to single crochet into the last double crochet of row five. This is row five. Chain six again. Single crochet into the last double crochet of row three. Now we're going to chain eight. We're going to single crochet into the pico that we created at the top of our leaf. Chain five, single crochet into the same pico. Now we'll chain eight again. Single crochet into the first double crochet of row three. And chain six. Single crochet into the first double crochet of row five. Chain six again. And now we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet made of row eight. This is where we started. We're going to slip stitch to that first single crochet. Pull that tight, chain to secure, and now you can cut your yarn. Weave in your tail. You can flatten it all out, pull it to shape. And that is to complete our first Monstera leaf. Okay, now if it's a little bit wobbly, don't worry about it because once we have weight into the plant, it's really just going to pull out and then it kind of starts to shape itself. All right. Okay, so now that you have completed your first leaf, you are going to go ahead and create your second leaf all the way up till you get to row eight. All right, so work from what, rows one to seven. Remember eight is the one where we started working in the round. Do not complete that um, that round yet. So I'm going to work my second one and when I get to the beginning of round eight I will show you how we're going to put them together. Okay so I have just completed row seven. Now I'm going to get started on row eight and we're going to connect our Monstera leaves and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first part of row eight is to chain one and now we're going to work the bottom part of the leaf before we actually connect them. Now we'll single crochet two times into the first stitch and place 13 single crochets following. And that should take you to your last double crochet. And now we are going to chain two 
and we will treble crochet three together over our three single crochets. Chain two and do 13 single crochets again going up the next part of the leaf. And you should have one double crochet left at the end and you will work one single crochet into the last stitch. Now, what we're going to do is lay the next leaf next to the one that you are currently working on. Make sure that your stitches are facing the same way. So for example, I'm looking at the back side of these double crochets. I should also be looking at the back side of these double crochets. If you're looking at the front side, you should be looking at the front side, okay? So with your next single crochet, because we will have two into the last stitch, we're gonna work that last single crochet through the last double crochet here and the last single crochet from row eight on this side. So we'll be working it through both. And this is how we're gonna connect it. So it should be connected just like this right at the bottom. Now we're gonna chain six. And we're going to single crochet on top of the last double crochet from row five and the single crochet on top of the last double crochet from the other leaves, row five. And now we're gonna chain six again. And we're gonna go through the fur or the last double crochet from row three and single crochet. So we're just connecting our pieces at the bottom of our leaf. Like this. Only those are connected and then the rest of this is gonna like hug your pot or go higher than your pot. So unless you're putting a large pot in here, I'm not positive it's gonna be ideal to put something bushy because the top part of your monstera is going to be sitting at the top part of whatever your pot is. So it would actually be perfect for a monstera because they're not bushy on the bottom and they're tall. I mean, obviously not a huge one, um, but you know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Okay, so now we're going to chain eight. single crochet into your pico and chain five single crochet into your pico again and chain eight And now we're going to single crochet into that first double crochet from row three. Make sure you get both yarns if you're working double stranded. And chain six. And now we're going to connect the other side of the monstera. So you're going to single crochet through the fifth row the double crochet on the fifth row, that first one, and the single crochet that's in the double crochet on the fifth row here. Chain 
chain six. And we're going to single crochet through the last, well, technically it's the first, but the end single crochet from row eight where we started and the single crochet first in the row from row eight on your other leaf. So we have completed both of our leaves and they are both attached, okay? So now we're gonna work the bottom part to create the netting that's gonna actually hold our pot. And it's going to look like this. The great thing about the netting is that you can use a thinner pot and it will just, you know, be netted up like this on the bottom and be taller or you can use a thicker pot and just see the monstera leaf on the outside of the pot. Okay, so how we're gonna get started on the bottom is what we're gonna do is first work, flip our work to look at the front. I'm currently looking at the back of my double crochet stitches, so I'm gonna flip it inside out So that way, I'm working on the right side of my work. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I kind of like to look at the front of all the stitches at the same time. All right, so now in whichever way you're facing and whichever way you're starting your work, you are gonna slip stitch five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna single, I'm gonna chain one and then single crochet into the next stitch. Chain five. My yarn's getting all tangled up here. So chain five, and then we're gonna skip three stitches and single crochet into the next. Chain five. We're gonna skip the rest of those stitches and we're gonna single crochet right into the treble crochet three together. Chain five. Now we are going to single crochet into the sixth stitch. So we just worked on top of our treble crochet and our next stitches are single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six into the sixth single crochet. Chain five. Skip three stitches, single crochet into the next. And now we're going to chain seven. And we're gonna single crochet into the sixth stitch on the next leaf. So we're gonna find the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, single crochet into the sixth stitch on the next side. Chain five. Skip three stitches and single crochet. Chain five. And now we're gonna single crochet into the treble crochet three together. Chain five. 
and we're going to single crochet into the sixth stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, single crochet into that stitch, chain five, skip three stitches, and single crochet. Now to join, on the other side we did chain seven when we hopped from one leaf to the next. And so on this side, what we want to do is instead of trying to slip stitch up a chain to get to the middle of our chain space, we are just going to chain three and then double crochet to our first single crochet to join. And what that's going to do is set us up to work into the middle of this chain space. So now for round two, we're not going to turn in any finishing rounds. We're just working in rounds here. So we're going to chain one that doesn't count as a stitch and we're going to single crochet over where we just joined. And now we're going to chain four and single crochet into the next chain space. Chain four. and single crochet into the next chain space. And you're gonna do that all the way until your last chain space. And I'll meet you back to show you how we're gonna join our round. Okay, so I have just chained four and single crocheted into each chain space up to my last chain space. And so how we're gonna join here is to chain two and then we're going to half double crochet to our first single crochet to join. Now for round three, we are going to chain one and single crochet over that join. And now we're going to chain two and single crochet into the next chain space. Chain two single crochet into the next chain space. Do that all the way around until you get to your first chain or your last chain space. Okay, now that I'm at my last chain space, I'm going to chain one. Okay, now that I have just single crocheted into my last chain space, I'm gonna chain one and then single crochet to my join or to my first single crochet to join. And now this will be our last round. So we'll chain one, single crochet over that join, chain one, single crochet into the next chain space, chain one, and single crochet into the next. And that's how we will complete our fourth round of the bottom, we will be able to tie off, fasten, and weave in our ends, and then we're gonna get started on the rope for hanging. So let me finish this out, and we'll get started on the rope. And the rope is really simple, it's just chains, but we're gonna make them really long because they're gonna be doubled up so that they have, you know, a double strength, obviously. To join your last round after your last single crochet, you're going to chain one and slip stitch to your first single crochet to join. Chain one to secure your work. And then you can cut your yarn. Make sure you leave a long enough tail to weave in your ends. And now we will work, well this is what your work should look like so far. And remember I said earlier that once you have the weight of a pot in here, it just pulls it out to make it really nice and smooth. Okay, so for the rope, we're gonna chain 300 chains, okay? And then we're gonna pull the tail end of our chain, like through the chain five place, 
up here on top of our pico and then through the chain five space on the other side. Now this is gonna give you a rope of approximately 18 inches tall. So you can chain more if you like, or you can chain less. It depends on how low you want your plant to hang. So I'm gonna chain 300 and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to put them together and tie the last knots. Okay, so I completed my chain. I chained 300. And so you're just gonna take one end of your chain and put it through the chain five on top of your pico and then weave it through the other side. And we will do our best to make sure our chain's not like super twisted, not that it really matters. And you're just gonna tie several knots to make sure that these pieces are secure together. All right, and then you can cut your ends. And you are going to take both ropes and essentially they're just gonna be like this to hold your pot. And then of course weave in your ends. Go ahead and put your potted plant in here. Go ahead and take any potted plant that is six to seven inches wide. Slip it in. Gently, I'm so gentle with my plants. And there you are. You have got yourself a plant hanger. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me and making a plant hanger. It's super hot out there, summer, if you are a plant person. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Again, my name is Crystal. Um, you can find me under Jolie Knotts Crochet on Facebook and Instagram. Also, you can join the Jolie Knotts Crochet community group on Facebook and show us what you've created.